Hello everybody and welcome once again to Forever Stranded. At the last end of the last episode, or during the last episode, I didn't actually show you the results from that, um, what was it now, the smell tree. So let's have a look at what I did there. Uh, it's just over here, isn't it? So we should, I said we should have four ingots of manilium in here, which we have, and that's gold. And what we're going to do today is we're going to have a look about going towards the end. And we can do this. Look, if you look over here, I have got an end portal. And it's activated. Now I'm going to show you how to do this because I haven't been there yet. But I'll do actually, uh, I'll actually build it and show you how it works. So what you need is some obsidian. And we sit it out in a 5x5 five five sort of square with a 3x3 three three in the middle. So what I'm going to do is first of all dig out a 3x3. Three Shear is probably not the best tool. Let's use the pickaxe. And I'm going to put into that the end stone. And I'm going to build up three, four high, I think it is. Like that. Nope, five high. And then I'm going to knock these out because we don't need these, I don't think. There's four high, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to put some torches down here just to get rid of the lines. I was wrong place, I need to be there, don't I? So you make this five by five. So let's go down, it's like this. So. One, two, three, four, five, and just carry on around here like that. Like that. So there you have your three by three in the middle and the earth. Now what you need to do is I've got a block here, and I think it's at the right height. Might be actually too low, in fact. Looking at the other one. So let's put another one on top of this. Because it doesn't work if it's too low. Like that. I'll remove this block. So that's basically standing on the wall, and then it's another three blocks higher than that. So it should be four blocks, five blocks high from the from the ground floor, I think. Oh, that's right this time, doesn't it? And now we need to do is put an end rod underneath here. So let's go back and have a look at how we actually make an end rod. Be quicker to fly. So, now, to make an end rod, you need one of these chorus fruits. And to get a chorus fruit, you need some chorus seeds. And you can make chorus seeds by sieving compressed or normal end gravel, like this, end gravel. And you get a 1%, 10% chance. So you, they're quite frequent then. And to make this end gravel, you basically hammer, or yes, you just hammer end stone, or compressed end stone, which if you want. As simple as that. So then you get some and gravel, which you then, and it's a hundred percent chance that you're guaranteed to do that. So then you get your gravel, you see if you gravel, and you get some of these ores. So you get aluminium, tin, platinum, which is actually not one of the things you get in these days anyway, and chorus fruit seeds. And you can plant the chorus seeds. I'll go and do that as well. On some endstone. So I've got one planted over here. If I plant another one, it might actually cause everything to break. It doesn't matter very much. Because if you do that, you actually can get quite a few like that. And then that grows over time to something like this. And then you can chop it down. So now we've got our chorus fruit, we have to cook it. So what I'm going to do is, here I've got my sag, uh, sag, um, ali, ali, alloy smelter. Put it in there, smelts, it gets taken out and it's actually been put into the system here. So we need to make an end rod, don't we? So. Can't find it in there, of course I need to do it in here. Is it spelled with an O space or rod like space? Sorry, try again. And here we go, one end rod. So you basically have chorus fruit and a popped chorus fruit and a blaze rod. So we can now do that. We get four of these. We only want one. I'll put the others away. 
and we don't need this place right because I took it out of there in the first place and cleared that recipe. In fact I don't need the end stone or the obsidian anymore. So what we then do is we take this and we also need to put on the end of this a drop of evil. I think it's a drop of a tear. No, an evil tear I think it is. So we'll look. Tear. So this is this one here. So it's a gas tear with the skeleton skull and an end pearl. So you make that like that and you get this. I don't plan to actually open the second one. Maybe I should just for the just for the purpose of demonstration. All you do then is come underneath here and put the end rod at the bottom of that, and then it's facing down. And then all you need to do now is to right click the evil tier on that and it opens up the portal. Let's do that it disappeared and it's starting to open up the portal like this so we have now two end portals right I think it's probably time to go and visit the end now have I got everything I need I've got a prism here for Woot because I believe I can actually capture the end dragon in this or a version of him and I've got my sword and I've got my food and I've got some torches and I've got this I think I've got some protection here the only one I haven't got is regeneration but I think we'll take the chance but that's that's just an obsidian platform so that's much use to us so here we have one ender dragon let's get my prism going right away straight away and see if I can get him not sure if I'm fast enough I might have to do some of the other stuff oh, he's flying through this bird that's interesting now I'm taking more hits than I want to so what I'm going to do now of course is I'm going to use my boomerang and hit these things I'm not sure if I've got enough range we'll try no, not enough range for that one. Can I destroy this one? Not quite. So we'll have to use our pickaxe or something on this one, I reckon. And then use the boomerang on it. Oops, that wasn't very good. I took quite a lot of damage from that one. Let's get some food in to hit myself. Always shooting fireballs at me, I better watch out for those things. Oops. Better eat again. I probably should have put Rudren on, shouldn't I? I'm not even using my fast pickaxe. I should really be doing that, shouldn't I? Now I think that I've got oh, one more crystal over here. Now has the end dragon got any? Mm. 
Unfortunately, this is a bit slow. Actually, I should be able to hit him with this prism now, shouldn't I? Yes, I got him caught in the prison. That's fantastic. Let's get my sword out. I get him close enough here. I need to eat again, that's it. And again. No more to eating. Let's go down and bash him again. How's he got? He's about half health now, isn't he? I'm not sure what he's doing at the moment. Might be summoning his um doing this, <laughs> I must be honest. <laughs> Hopefully he'll set into his little flappy mode again. I can get him with my sword. There we go. Any second now. Nope, need a big weapon, don't I? Right, get the right weapon, right. Oh, right. Right. That's it. Well, that was quite exciting. Well, there should be a load of XP around as well. Let's just go down a bit here. Oh, Ender Pulse too. Of course you get Ender Lilies. I don't need any of those. How am I doing for other things? Heat. Better check actually. I haven't been here for a while. Let's go and do a quick check. So let's put some torches down on, on this bedrock and let's have a look at my inventory here uh, let's have a couple of baubles oh that's managing to keep up all right so there's plenty of power and i have got my capacitor bank armored in here as well so i could actually put that on which recharges things anyway which i don't really need so i have an epic shard garbage whatever that is I think it's probably a good time to go down and get a bit more of these things, isn't it? There should be a dragon egg somewhere. And there it is. And I want this dragon egg, but I'm not 100% sure how to get it. So maybe... Can I right click this? 
If I can, it's jumped, doesn't it? It's teleported away. There it is. And when's a bit too excited, I think I'm going to go and sort him out because he's. Just by being a little bit higher, you can't hit me, which is great. Oh, biotite ore. Now, I do want this. This is one of the things you get from... Um, let's take this pickaxe here. This is supposed to be where you can get extra heat for your lava production. I have no idea how much you need. Let's go and find some more of this. Plenty of it around, which is good. Oh, I've got a lot of XP, eight years own. Oh my goodness, I hadn't realised. I'm being a bit quiet because I'm concentrating hard because I've not, obviously not done this before. I'm just wondering if I can put underneath that dragon's egg a torch. Let it drop onto the torch. The reason I want the dragon's egg is it'll give you, with a dragon's egg, um, an extra utilities. We get about 500 GP from one block or two blocks. Now, where's it gone to? There. So if I dig underneath this thing here, like this. And then put a torch underneath here. And then break this block. I get it. Right. That's it, I'm going back. <laughs> Yes, but now we get the titles and I think if you press escape you go past all of those. And we're back at home. So that was a successful trip. So let's go and make this GP generator. Oh, now that is one of my guns that's just gone off. Look, Endermen. <laughs> oh, they joined me, did they? Actually, the guns will actually kill the Endermen, so it's no big deal. Oh, two of them. I do have an, I do have an aversion obelisk here, and I'm in there. I've got a, a zombie silver and a husk silver, and I'm still getting attacked, but much less often than I was before. And this is actually activated with this um, daylight sensor. I didn't show you that before. In fact, since I've installed that, I've only had one attack, which happened strangely enough today, when I was um, looking at my map. Right. Sorry, distraction. Let's go back and do this. Let's clear that off. And it's in extra utilities. And the thing we need is a, I think it's a dragon mill, a dragon egg mill or something like that. See so if we can find it. Rainbow generator, that's supposed to be rather interesting as well. Um, oh, yes, I'm being duffed. I need to do it like this. Extra U and then mill. Let's have a look what we get here. Fire mill, lava mill, water mill, 
windmill, mechanical mill, quantum quarry, which we've built. I didn't show you the recipe for that, by the way. Nether stars. And the actuators will also go with it. I didn't show you that either. Creative mill, dragon egg mill. Here we go. So, we should be able to do that. Let's make one of these first of all. I need some more redstone torches. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll make a stack of those and put them in. We've got plenty of both. So let's do that again. If I can find the recipe for it, that one. And we also need this. We've got no problem producing, and we also need ender pearls, stone burnt. I think I've got stone burnt. So here we have a dragon egg mill. So what you do with this is you put it down. Now I'm going to put it down somewhere. Let's just find this. My base is a complete mess. I do apologise. So let's put it down here, and on top of this, you'll see at the moment I have got grid power used. 888 being generated. I think that's what it says. So let's take the dragon egg here and put it on top. Power generating 500. So now I've got a thousand, almost a thousand GP. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to set up the root. So what we're going to do is take a, a controller that's blank like this. I didn't show you this either last time, I do apologise. I've done all these things, and the factory spawn and grinder. The reason you're doing this is you can't do it by itself. So you put that down first, and then you put on this a controller, like that. And you right click the controller like that. And then this is now a dragon, ender dragon, tier 4 root. And then you can break those two blocks. So I'll put the controller back in again, and we shall go and set up the root. Because there's no, sh I've got no shortage of um, end nether stars. I have to call them the right thing this time, and which is the one I want. That one. So let's see what happens with that. It probably will not come down into here. I don't think I have anything that will drop it from here. So let's have a look. So there's nothing in this chest at the moment. Just to wait and see. Now the other thing that we got from here was this ore. Let's have a look at this ore I've got. Ender bio biotil? I don't know how you pronounce that. So not yet anyway. So we find out what we can do with this. Let's have a look what we can do with this one. I think oh we can make a weather sensor from Quark, a block of it. And maybe we just have to make a block of it. What's this one? Basalt. Okay. What else have we got? Those are just crafters. Maybe that's the only thing I can do with it. Let's make a crucible. Oh, wrong one. Let's try again. I want to make an unfired crucible, so I need porcelain, and we'll make some of that first of all, because I haven't got any. Seven. I'm just I'm doing at the moment just in time management of things. Let's just put that into this melt that. Let's take it out of here again. And now we probably make a lava generator, so I need two buckets. Let's get two buckets. that and I'm going to take put those two buckets down here I'm going to fill one with water which I can get from here easily enough and the other one I'm going to fill with lava which with a bit of luck we can get from over here easily enough like that when we come back 
and make ourselves a lava generator. Sorry, I need a cobblestone generator, I'm talking about. Two pages. This one will do fine, I think. So we just do that. We have our cobblestone generator. So let's see if this works. Now I've got absolutely no idea if it does, let's dig a hole down here. Let's put the, light, the generator here. Let's put on top of that a a thin, have I got one there? Yes, I have got 64. Let's put down this. And let's put on top of that the crucible and see if anything happens to it. Whoa, 133 millibuckets per second. That's cool. And I've got lots of it. So I'm going to replace all my magnet blocks for that stuff and I'll be able to get more and more power. Wow, I'm impressed, but it was a very exciting little trip to the uh, to the to the end. I haven't done the Nether yet, except for I did it in a test world, and it's actually not very interesting at all. Like one fortress in the middle of a void, and lots of blazes. So, the last thing I'm going to do today, because I've got a little bit more time before we finish this, go and visit a um, a desert temple. Now, where are, is my temple? I've got one marked on my map here somewhere. I think it's north Lily. It's about 400 blocks away, and I can't see my marker. Oh, there we go. 433 blocks away. What time is it? It's late evening, so early afternoon, I suppose. Shouldn't take too long to get here. I was exploring and I flew back and I found myself a temple I haven't actually knocked about yet. Fortunately I've got too much stuff on me at the moment too. So I don't think I've been in here. So that's what I'm just, just do what I normally do is just batter away these eight blocks at the top here. And then come down beside one of these. And go down three more. And I've got a bit of lag. And then bash away at the TNT here. And take it all the way. That'll do. I can actually put a torch down. You can see what I'm talking about. And then we'll just start bashing away at this. So what you do, take that away. And I'll need my axe. And my inventory is full. So let's just clear my inventory first of all. Fortunately, I've got the index, and with the index, set, I want that. Oh, an infinite booster card. Brilliant. So I've got one at last. Get rid of that. Let's put this down here, and let's put into the bag stuff that I really want to keep. I want that in the bag, and I want this in the bag. I want this in the bag. I want this. And then we can get rid of most of the rest of the stuff. And the pearls. More end pills on some stone, and then I can't saw that yet. So, what I do then is put down a torch because it is getting towards like night time, and there will be mobs spawning. So, let's beat up these things first of all. I need the axe. So, what I do is I bash it, get loads of loot, I do all four because I've got the magnet like this. They start to fly around, don't they? So, what I do next is I get to the indexer. And then just feed stuff away. And that's it. We go back here, fly up and fly out. If I can, this. And we go back to base. So, the interesting thing are these capacitors. I've been looking at a, a website. Now, what I didn't show you last time was some stuff that people have done for that have been basically examples of how to do it. And one of them was Whisperfire, where she set up the... Um, she was the first one I saw to set up 
the resource miners. I had actually seen it on Discourse before, but Discord, I mean. Somebody was talking about using that. And Woot, I didn't see any purpose of doing this until I reached a level, um, the current level we're on, which is four. And the pearls I don't need because I'm getting from here, and there was nothing else really that I wanted. And blaze, blazes you get from crushing, compressing blaze powders and everything else. And Mech LSD was the first one to show me how to do that. Let's go downstairs because in these chests here, there will be the products of what I've been doing. In fact, the first three few are actually full, aren't they? Here we go. So I've still got some more chorus fruit in here. I think the stuff I've just collected will be... Actually, I don't know where it is. So there should be some in here. I think I've got this purple room for Quark. And some... Yes, this is where, this is where I put the stuff, because you can see this epic shader. From Immersive Engineering. Okay. Let's have a look at that. If we've got any uses for that thing. Oh, this might be an interesting capacitor. Let's give it a quick try. It's a premium hot. This one should be, it's got a free one in, I think. I'm being a little bit, uh, a premium hot impossible capacitor. Let's have a look. Hundred and forty three RF per tick, 500K and it's generating that. So that's a pretty good one. Right. Just going to empty my inventory out very quickly like that and I'm then going to go like this and say I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did <laughs> I'm still a bit shaky after doing all of this so until next time I'm going to say bye for now bye